Hi friends, in a few seconds, I'm going to introduce you to some adorable otter brothers and sisters I recently spent time with. If you're new here, hi, I'm Dara, and I created the Magenta Otter Travels channel as a place where Brits and Anglophiles from around the world can hang out and talk about British stuff, including British wildlife. Be sure to click on the red subscribe button if you're not already part of the Magenta Otter Tribe. These days, I'm uploading a UK travel vlog every Friday and then bonus content on most Tuesdays. Here is today's video from my visit to the Otters and Butterflies Otter Sanctuary in Dartmoor, where I met the gorgeous British Otter Brothers, Rook and Burn, and the feisty American River Otter Sisters, Quinny and Peggy. Please give this video a thumbs up so that the YouTube algorithm knows how lovable otter videos are and be sure to stay tuned till the very end for the photos of otters that are so cute. If you don't say, aww, then you have no heart. So you got Ben on the left, Brooks on the right. These are your British otters. They're also known as the Eurasian otter. And they're now around four years old and they were born at Surrey Wildlife Park. Is she coming over there, boys? Come on. I remember Brooke and Burn from last time. Yeah, they probably would have been fairly new last time you came, so still sort of getting used to things. As the trainer Kira was explaining to us, Brooke and Burn are both rather shy otters. They took a while to decide whether they wanted to come out of their holt and interact with us. What is it, my darling? You gonna come over? Oh, we said. I mean, honestly, look at that gorgeous creature and his sweet face. He came to the fence because he thought we had food, but then once he got there, he was a bit disappointed and lost interest in us, or me at least. I affectionately call these two the Bachelor Brothers, since they haven't been paired with female partners. They are living happily together, but if a female were introduced, they would fight over her. Sibling rivalry is real in the Otter Kingdom. And look at the lovely whiskers on this handsome fella. The brothers were very happy when we eventually returned with some fish to munch. As instructed by the trainer, I had to throw one fish to the left into the pond for one boy to retrieve and devour, and then the other fish I had to throw far to the right onto the grass so that each of the brothers could then eat their fill of fish without fighting with each other. These very nocturnal otter boys thoroughly enjoyed their meal and were then ready to return to their holt for a nice post-lunch nap. And now a couple magenta otter tribe comments from last week's otter video. Several folks like Mark commented on the cute otters and the sounds they make. A few subscribers like Susan admitted that these adorable otters had made an otter fan out of them, which made me well and truly chuffed. And then I must highlight Tony's comment, which made me smile. He said, hello, Dara and Ian. So these cheeky charmers are responsible for making you fly thousands of miles in pandemic, then spend two weeks in jail and be force-fed Marmite? Now that's love. Yes, Tony, it is love, and it was worth it to see these otter friends again. Now let's meet the female otter duo. So you got Winnie at the front, Peggy's at the back. And the girls are now around 14 years old and they were born here at the sanctuary. So they're American otters, but given Canadian names. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. So lots of people, people know them as the um, Canadian otter as well. But I mean, most people identify them as the American river otter. But yeah, you get things like Winnipeg, um, their grand was Ontario. Their mum was Splash, that was just a fun name. <laughs> I call these girls the spinster sisters since they aren't expected to ever have any otter babies. They get along pretty well, although you can see a bit of a nudge happen if you watch closely. But wait to see when the food gets served. 
At first, all is well. They each eat their big juicy fish that I hand feed them, and they are happily munching. But then, we see a bit of sibling rivalry at work when one greedy girl shoves her sister out of the way to get more fish more quickly. She doesn't want to wait her turn politely. I guess it's because she's a North American otter and not a British one. Therefore, she doesn't understand queuing etiquette. Just wait. Just wait. All right, there you go. All right, pudding, pudding. Okay, this is for your sister. There you go.